Hi tribe welcome to another episode of Homo Formativus where we explore architecture sketching AI and all the creative ways they intersect Now Nano Banana is hyped to do many things right people are calling it everything from the next big creative tool to even a photoshop killer the internet seems to be buzzing but the real question is uh, how do we actually use it in a design workflow in this episode i'm trying to capture exactly that i'll start with a rough sketch and then gradually take it to the next level prompting refining and steering nano banana until the design reaches where i want to go all right guys let's jump into google gemini first thing make sure it's set to 2.5 flash now click on the tools button um, there it is the nano banana icon double check it's active then hit the plus button time to upload one of my quick sketches uh, this sketch was done for one of my projects when i was testing the stable diffusion workflow it's an office building sitting on a grass mound with some retail below here is a render i created using stable diffusion and let me tell you it took me roughly 3 to 4 hours to get this level of detail i had to photoshop over and over refeed the model sketch nuances again and again a hectic process just to keep control i can show you that whole workflow in another video so make sure you subscribe to my channel and click bell button so you don't miss it now let's see what nano banana can do i'm adding a text prompt um asking it to convert this sketch into a photorealistic render when i prompt i like to use creative words evocative emotive just to push the ai's imagination a bit further i'll make it more detail to angle edges a perforated facade i don't want to feel too solid uh, let's add a parametric triangulated pattern and of course it's sitting on an activated grass mound by activated i mean full of people uh, shops below landscaped foreground lawn basically trying to match what i achieved in my stable diffusion render okay let's run it wow that was fast only about 10 seconds and look at this the image is neat not fancy but neat honestly this could be our base render for post production now let's manipulate it a bit i'll try converting this morning shot into an evening sunset scene with warm lights glowing from inside it's running and here it is guys this changes everything i used to joke with my friends while struggling with stable diffusion at work saying don't bother learning it because soon we will have tools so intuitive that in just a few clicks you will get exactly what you want and here it is but too soon way too soon golden hour is here the overall lighting is adjusted beautifully so cool so effortless uh, this is post production in a click let's push it further adding reflections of the sun on the buildings long shadows some clouds to make it dramatic boom nice wow that's that was fast guys and that's awesome now let's add more openings now the building feels a bit solid okay uh redone with some prompt adding more openings nice Yeah this is the key with any prompting platform chat gpt mid journey whatever and the first step is learning how the machine thinks once you get that controlling it becomes natural the analogy i love is from avatar uh, when the navi connect their braid to the dragon or the banshee right in pandora and suddenly they think as one that is a for me like having a super brain outside your head that sings with your imagination now let's try zooming in on the building like a close up shot let's try if nana banana can do that running generating image let's see mm. generating uh looks the same to me maybe a glitch or maybe it's not just there yet okay let's shift gears a dramatic night scene dark blue sky milky way building lights glowing let's see nice the grass mound got uh, a bit darker too 
let's brighten it with some subtle lighting make it more natural okay let me add the prompt make the grass mount more dramatic varying the bush length and maybe add some lighting make it more natural okay added lights looks better still a bit uneven i'm uh, not complaining though very good banana very good now here's me having some fun uh, let's run wild with creativity mm, convert the foreground into a concert arena wow i didn't expect the stage to cover the building though uh, let's remove the stage okay i have some other idea let's let's make the people cheering for the building right uh, the building itself is celebrated instead of the stage uh, now convert the building into a banana okay let's see <laughs> what a banana comes up with wow <laughs> look at that <laughs> yeah it seems like the crowd is celebrating the banana right nice nice okay and now let's transform that banana into an architectural marvel with some parametric patterns and perforations let's run wild with creativity now ah oh, wow okay yeah almost like what i have expected what i had in my mind and uh, let's let's uh, make it oh what happened to the crowd though okay let's bring back the crowd okay bring back the concert crowd and make it make the banana more faceted maybe yeah let's see wow yeah this is this is what i wanted this is exactly what i had in my mind guys this is not banana i would say this is this is genie aladdin's genie look at that all hail the banana <laughs> this has been mind blowing guys from a rough sketch to multiple design explorations in just minutes what used to take hours with stable diffusion and photoshop now takes two clicks wow. the pace of these tools is exponential and the <laughs> the scariest part is we are just at the beginning what a what a world what a time to be alive so if you want to see more experience experiments like this from sketch to render design workflows and crazy ways AI is shaping creativity make sure you do hit the subscribe button and join me here at homo imaginaris see you in the next one ciao